It's January 8th, 2018, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. The college football national championship game is in overtime, and the hometown Georgia Bulldogs have struck first, putting a 51-yard field goal through the uprights to make this a do-or-die drive for the Alabama Crimson Tide. The fate of the championship lies in the hands of the Bama offense, but the quarterback of this offense started this game on the bench. Actually, he started every game on the bench, so maybe it's best if we just rewind. This episode of Rewinder is presented by Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Push button, get mortgage. This is the fourth college football national championship game since the sport switched to a playoff format. Of those four, three have featured the Alabama Crimson Tide, led by head coach Nick Saban. The Tide won the first of those three in 2016, with a team coached by Saban as well as defensive coordinator Kirby Smart. Here, in 2018, Kirby Smart is opposite Saban as head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs. Saban is 11-0 against former assistants, which is bad news for Smart, who is facing the Tide for the first time since leaving the team in 2016. But Smart didn't get the memo. His defense shut Bama down as the Bulldogs entered half with a 13-0 lead. Alabama quarterback Jalen Hurts was completely ineffective in the first half, which is surprising given how he's played in the past. Bama faced off against Clemson the year prior in the 2017 National Championship. Hertz, a freshman at the time, was coming off a season in which he broke the team record for touchdowns in a season and rushing yards by a quarterback. He continued to showcase his place at the top of the college football world with a 30-yard touchdown run to take the lead from Clemson with two minutes remaining in the game. But not to be outdone, Clemson's star QB, Deshaun Watson, put the championship away with a game-winning touchdown with one second left on the clock. One year later, after a controversial selection to the college football playoff over Ohio State, Bama got its revenge and proved it belonged by defeating Clemson in the semifinal. The MVP of that game was none other than Jalen Hurts, and that win landed them here in the 2018 National Championship game. But his three completions for 21 yards in the first half are not enough if Bama plans on winning this game even with his 47 yards on the ground. Opposite Hertz is Georgia QB Jake Fromm, whose night started less than perfect. The third play of the game was an interception by Bama corner Tony Brown, but as was the case with every Alabama drive in the first half, they were unable to capitalize. Fromm put Georgia in position to kick a couple field goals and punch in a one-yard rushing touchdown that gave the Bulldogs a 13-0 lead at half. Fromm, a freshman, was recruited by Alabama and actually committed to them in 2015. A heavy part of that recruiting effort came from then-Alabama defensive coordinator Kirby Smart. Smart built a great relationship with him, and once Smart was hired as Georgia's head coach, Fromm, who hails from the state of Georgia, flipped to join him with the Bulldogs. After taking over for an injured Jacob Eason, Fromm led the Bulldogs as high as second in the rankings before sustaining their only loss of the season against Auburn a loss that saw them tumble to 7th in the playoff rankings. But they would avenge their loss with a 28-7 blowout against Auburn in the SEC Championship game, their first conference title since 2005. They did so against an Auburn team without star running back Kerryon Johnson, who had torched Georgia for 233 total yards and a touchdown in their last matchup. Johnson was injured in the fourth quarter of the Iron Bowl the week before, after putting up 125 yards, a rushing touchdown, and a passing touchdown against Alabama. Georgia was selected for the playoff, and in the semifinal at the Rose Bowl, the Bulldogs edged out Baker Mayfield and his Oklahoma Sooners in double overtime, 54-48. That brings us here, the national championship game, where Fromm and the Bulldogs lead the tide in overtime. But Bama didn't abandon their search for the quarterback of the future when he decommitted. They instead turned their attention to another quarterback they had been recruiting at the same time, Tua Tagovailoa out of Hawaii. Tua attended the same high school as Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Mariota, who had taken Tua under his wing. So understandably, Mariota's former college team, Oregon, was high on his list. But Oregon showed little interest, and within days of Fromm leaving for Georgia, the Tide offered Tua a scholarship. Now here, in overtime, on a do-or-die drive for Alabama, the championship on the line, it's Tua, not Hertz, who is under center. Fromm, Smart, and Georgia came out of half with the lead. Saban, needing to make a change, benched the QB that had led them to a 13-1 record, the QB that won the SEC Freshman of the Year award last season en route to a national championship game that they came within one second of winning. Instead, 
he sent out the freshman backup out of Hawaii. A three and out on Tua's first drive didn't do much to instill confidence in his ability to turn this game around. But after quickly getting the ball back, Tua rushed twice for 12 yards before stringing together four straight completions, the last of which was a six yard pass to receiver Henry Ruggs for the team's first touchdown. As quickly as the excitement came for Bama fans, it was gone. Fromm immediately followed Tua's touchdown with an 80 yard touchdown pass. The second play of the Tide's next drive resulted in an interception and hope started to fade. But that's when Bama's defense came to the rescue. The very next play, Fromm threw an interception of his own, leading to an Alabama field goal. It was a 10 point game. Georgia got addicted to punting as Bama put another three points on the board. Then, with seven minutes remaining in regulation, Tua led the tie downfield. On fourth down, on the seven yard line, he placed a dime in the hands of Calvin Ridley in the end zone. Tie game. The scoring ceased in regulation, and to open up overtime, the Bulldogs booted a 51 yarder, giving Alabama no choice but to score on this drive. Tua may not have started any games this season, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have any experience. Alabama had steamrolled its opponents all season, giving them a chance to trot out their backup QB to finish the game on seven different occasions. In fact, there was only one game all season in which the Tide didn't lead at half. It was a game against Mississippi State, a game in which this man became the hero. Devonta Smith, like Tua, is a freshman, one that had a limited impact so far this season outside of that Mississippi State game. With the teams tied and Bama's season hanging in the balance, Jalen Hurts hit Smith for a 26-yard touchdown with 25 seconds left on the clock. It was Smith's only reception of the game. In fact, he had never had more than one reception in a game. Being a deep threat, he was out there only in hopes of a big play. Tonight, he has no receptions and only one target, and to his first dropback resulted in a 16-yard loss, putting the Tide in a second and 26 situation at the 41-yard line. With the championship on the line, Alabama could really use that big play. Welcome to a moment in history. Thank you about Loa trying to make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! Thanks for watching this episode of Rewinder. There are tons more where this came from, and there's going to be tons more in the future. So subscribe. Hit the bell so you never miss a notification and stay tuned for more from SB Nation.